Here's Castlevania. Um, I've been meaning to do Castlevania 4, but unfortunately I had some, um, oh, thank you for the, uh, hosting. That's, that's the first thing that happens as soon as I start this game. So yeah, Castlevania 1. I don't expect to finish this game, um, because it's hard as shit, but, fuck, let's just dive right in. Uh, question for anybody else, uh, any experiences you guys had with Castlevania? Ca Super um... Castlevania 4. Fuck yeah. Uh, Lars has played Castlevania, what's it called? Um, what's it about? Like, who's in it? Um, it has Alucard in it. Symphony of the Night? That's it. Yeah. Alright, um... Um, he's... I believe he might have played this one. Or we, we just seen it so many times from the Angry Video Game Nerd. I've, I've seen this one many times, just never played it. Oh, uh, the first one? Um, I will tell you this much. It is hard as hell. It's easily one of the hardest games ever made. Ah! Yeah. God damn it! I was supposed to whip that There's like all these thing. secrets and shit you don't even know about that the game won't tell you about. You kind of have to look them up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, those are just, like, secrets, though. Like, they're not absolutely <laughs> mandatory. Like, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really bother yeah, me that much. Yeah, they're mandatory, and you don't know where they are, and the game doesn't tell you. No, 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 no. And... But what I mean is is that they are not mandatory. Like... Oh, they're not mandatory. Yeah, no. Um, okay. Yeah, no, that that's, that's one of those occasions where, like, something that's cryptic, it's not going to bother me. But if it's something that's absolutely required and you're stuck somewhere, like, that'll drive me insane. Yep, it's all the super secret stuff, like you got, like uh, when Simon Belmont twerks in order to get the Holy Grail. <laughs> Simon Belmont twerking to get the Holy Grail. That's that's the most ridiculous like setup for trying to unlock the secret. Need art of it now. Whoever's in the chat, need art. Oh wow. That's the okay, That's why uh, Castlevania Two received so many bad reviews because the things you have to do in the game are things you would have never figured out even if you were to talk to people in different towns. Like, the whole game was just fucking broken. And it's a shame, too, because it would have been, like, a really interesting game. Like, they did a whole different take on it. Because the first game is very, very linear, and then uh, the second game is very RPG-based. Mm. Yeah. Now, I do remember, I do recall somebody actually did a, uh, a ROM hack of Castlevania 2, and they fixed up a lot of the problems. Um, where the town, like, what the townspeople are saying make a lot of sense, and it actually helps you through without, you know, any serious problems. Not so much That's what... good. Ouch! But, yeah, I think you get what I mean. Um, and then they went yeah. back... Yeah, and then they went back to the linear style of the Castles 3 and, uh, Castlevania's 3 and 4. Yeah. Yeah. Play, 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 play. Ow, shit. Do not this guy's I easy know. to fight if you're patient enough. God damn, their movements are so stiff. That's the result That's of... What she said. Oh, shut the hell up. I walked into that one. Yes, you did. <laughs> the, only, the only experience I have with Castlevania would have to be when I went on YouTube and found... Basically, whole run-throughs of Castlevania Lords of Shadow 1 and 2, which are the remakes. I would have to take a look at... Okay, as far as my uh, exposure to Castlevania goes, I've been mostly used to, like, retro games. Like, I haven't played Symphony of the Night. I know of it. I want to play it at some point. Um, it's a I... lot of fun. Oh, I I'll... mean, I've seen Lars play it many times. He, like, did the whole, like... Apparently, there's something unique about the game oh, where... Uh, oh, <laughs> if you don't find this one item that allows you to see this one thing that will help you to save simon belmont i think um, um and if you don't do that and you kill him instead well then you, you kind of get the shitty ending shitty ending of the game but if you do wait. save him then you get to play the game all the way through with the proper ending and basically it's playing the game backwards through dracula's castle heartless doom thank you for the uh, 10 bits I still don't know how to work with those goddamn things. <laughs> I was waiting for that. It's like, well, it's easy. You go into Ponyville and you buy some food. Oh, t everything, everything you just said fills me with bloodthirsty rage. Oh no! Oh god! Okay. I understand. Okay, quick question. trivia: If you ever play any Castlevania games, do not go for the knife. The knife sucks in these games. All they are just singular shots. Other weapons are much more dynamic. 
Especially the one I'm using, the, the, the cross boomerang thing. I just call it cross boomerang. The cross orang? <laughs> the cross orang? I, I call it the swinging around weapon. <sighs> okay, I just went through one of the toughest parts of this fucking stage. The floating Medusa heads when you're going over the platforms, they're a pain in the dick for a lot of people. Like, every now and then, I get my ass kicked in that portion. <clears throat> it's almost as if the game is difficult. Well, yeah, no, it's... You had to, like, look around. Like, what I just found was that freaking wall chicken or pork chop. That's what the <laughs> manual calls it. <laughs> yeah, no, some people call it wall chicken. Some people call it... Tur oh, god damn it! I got the pocket watch. I didn't want that. Those are only useful for clock towers. But it also helps you keep track of time. Oh, yes. Because that's totally not why... God damn it. Oh, shit, I almost fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because if one thing is going to defeat the, the Dark Lord Dracula himself, it's our knowledge of AMs and PMs. <laughs> no, no, no. Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. Yeah. Never fear, Simon Belmont is here to destroy evil monsters and all you old fear. <laughs> I will land your cruel necromancy. Give me one second. I need to unplug this. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Ah. 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 Alright, there we go. I was switching headphones. Fair enough. Ah. Awkward! Oh, Awkward. I, was, I, was, I expected you to continue the song, but um, you didn't. No. Eh. No. Sorry, I didn't. It. I'm sorry. The Awkward cost was a few days ago. Okay, so Actually, well, let's go ahead and just, just like... Just, let's go ahead and like start from the beginning. So what were you singing? Ah, and I gotta remember it. Hold on. <laughs> never, never fear, Simon Belmont is here to destroy evil monsters and all you hold dear. I will end your cruel necromancing. I don't actually. We where were just is that dancing. from? <laughs> to hell, demon bends when she came. This is Castlevania. This isn't a game. Now I'll run away to the slide of the shades. As God is my witness, I shall see you all slain. <laughs> is that a meme? It sounds too funny to be a, to not be a it's meme. It's from that 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 all brothers Sma the Star Brothers Smash Brothers thing. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Okay. I don't. I haven't played that many Smash Brothers games. I've only. It's played not like a. Sm games. It's a channel. Music <laughs> video. Wait, Star Bomb? Yeah, Star Bomb. Oh, I don't listen to Star Bomb. What is? How can you not listen to that one? Ow, <clears throat> shit. Oh, no. I'm getting my ass kicked by this giant Medusa head. Later that night, we went back to my castle. We, we That's right. Laugh at the stun-locking cheese. Castle. We have fun play Twister on my queen-sized bed. The party was smaller because Wolfman was dead. At midnight, I heard the Grim Reaper say, I brought Guitar Hero, so who wants to play? It was Swamp Man on vocal. Nuts, but I'll do on base. Boy, you should have seen the silly looking, funny look on it. Oh, God, no! That! Tis I! Never fear, Simon Belmont is here to destroy <laughs> evil monsters and all you hold dear. No, we've heard it twice now, please. We've heard it like three times. <laughs> oh, I'll find the real song. Give me a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want to get copyright struck. There oh. you go. I mean, as is, it's we nice already lost. I mean, as is, we already lost one channel, which thankfully came back the other day. Tricky yeah. Yeah, Tricky Fox. I felt so bad for him when I found out what happened. I'm like, YouTube, kiss my ass. He did nothing wrong. But they fixed they fixed yeah. the problem. And then it shut down. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> I have no idea why. Plus, you're supposed to quit it. I think not. Quit it. I think not. That's Solar's job. But he's not here. No, I, when I when I hear that line, I think of uh, the Incredibles. Yep. Of course. Where else uh, was now, that from? Ari, don't you worry me. This little this little devil is guilty. Uh oh, what's happening? What happened? What did you do, uh, Ray? What'd you do? Uh, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> What did you do, Ray? What the? Oh what? shit! What? what? Okay, someone's someone's gonna need to 
provide context. I have no idea what this is about. I don't know. They oh, it Tricky got a uh, copyright strike. Yeah, yeah, because now that his channel's back up, the videos are getting flagged <laughs> left and right by other things that previously were flagged for, but then he got them back, but now they're being re flagged again because why the fuck not? Uh, <laughs> that's so mean spirited. It's YouTube, it's audio. Or it's auto. It's yeah, auto that, that's one of the things. Like, it started happening recently. Like, a couple of my videos recently got uh, some uh, music claims. <laughs> like, if you guys remember that Oreo, that stupid Oreo video, it had a shit ton of music claims at that point. I'm like, dude, like, it was barely a few seconds, and now it's getting claimed. They're being that picky now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to bother to try to save that video. So I took it down. Mm. I mean, it was funny while it lasted to just, like, film, like, uh, what is it? Shuffle myself into a bunch of Oreo cookies. But at the end of the day, it was just a silly thing that <laughs> didn't really get that much attention anyway. So there was really no lost cause. I mean, I both know. both Max and I are going to remember that. And I'm probably going to do an even bigger one, like, for BronyCon next year. I Crow, get your ass over here. Gonna, All right, fine, I don't. It's going to be mandatory for all of us to just, like, have someone who knows how to make their own music on hand. It's just, like... Oh, yeah, no, uh, royalty-free music and uh, people who compose their own music, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, shit! Unfortunately, oh, no! my artistic skill is in the two-dimensional realm. Ooh, sweet. I got the double. Oh, God, no. I do not want that fucking weapon. Kiss my ass. Thank you. Ah, the boomerang. Yeah! Spidey Phantom says Sony is like EA. Well, <laughs> I guess I, yes. I guess I, <laughs> I guess I. Looking at that, the only thing I can think. Of, wait, Sony is like EA. Never mind. Oh, Sony's the one that struck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thomas is uh, mentioning an artwork of some kind. Let's have a look at this. I currently can't look at it because I'm in the middle of the game. That's why I'm doing it for you. So proceeding on, <laughs> so proceeding on to level four. That would have broken his legs. Okay, the image is interesting. I just don't see it happening. Jesus, and you'll see what I mean once you look at it. <sighs> just look at it and read the title. This is one mind. of the most. This is as far as I could go as far as like any Castlevania game goes. Well, at least in this one. Oh the... please, Super Castlevania 4. I did I could never get past the waterfall boss level. Okay, Super Castlevania 4 I'd beaten multiple times, but this stage I'm sure you have, you show off. Shut up. Why don't you rub it in an open wound while you're at it? I didn't mean to. Yeah, Christ. But... You're an asshole. <laughs> Hey, yes, I'm Dennis Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh god. Okay, for a second there, I thought I was gonna fall in the uh, the freaking <clears throat> lake. Nope. Castlevania Bloodlines. I've gone as far as to Germany, which I think is level three or level four. Was one of those two. What about um, what about uh, Super Castlevania Super Fragilistic Expialidocious? God okay. fucking damn it, I walked into that How one. How do you say that? Anyway, Super Califragilistic Super Califragilistic XP. God damn it! <laughs> I picked the wrong weapon. That's how you say it! That's how you say it! <laughs> Super Califragilistic XP. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Anyways, to answer how, how you spell Super Califragilistic XP Alidocious. Oh. I don't know how to say the. I never figure out how to say the whole wor word in one go. Super califragic sp casey alidocious. Mm -hmm. yeah, my, like my, simple, there. my simple answer to that question is correctly. <laughs> oh, oh, the chat's loving my jealousy apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because they're getting a reaction out of you. <laughs> you really ought to embrace people loving how you react. Uh, how do I, do I, I don't, Shit! I don't react all the time. Like, okay, do I? Do I act like that all the time? Yeah, you kind of do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Also, what character do you play as in this game? I'm sorry, what? Simon Who's Belmont. The... 
Oh, yeah. Course. Yeah, Simon Belmont is in this one uh, all the way to the fourth. And in, there was one called Rondo of Blood. He plays Richter Belmont, which is his grandson. Hmm. Yeah. That's a lot of Belmonts. Oh, yeah, no, the Belmont family has a, an unfortunate uh, circumstance that every 100 years, one of them's got to face the Dark Lord. Because apparently nobody else can do it. Because everybody else is a bunch of chicken oh, shit. Let's... <laughs> someone, clipped out, someone clipped out the super califragilistic. Oh, that's already. Uh, that's no surprise. God damn yep. it! This is the most obnoxious boss in the game. What's God. That? Simon walk with a limp all the time. A walk with a limp? What? He's strutting. Yeah, the way he moves. He's strutting. <laughs> I'm strutting. Nobody fuck with me. I get. I have a fucking whip. Whip the whip. Got a fucking whip. It's funny. The whip. The whip. The whip. Whip. The. The, the moment you said nobody fucks with me, he died on the screen. <laughs> Damn, <that is. laughs> yeah, nobody no. Fucks, like, nobody fucks with me, says Simon is a fucking ghost. Well, obviously not now. Nobody can fucking touch you. Stupid snake. Stop being a goddamn cheapskate. That rhymed. That wasn't even intended. It just fucking rhymed. The snake is being a cheapskate. This hunchback is a pain in the ass! Snake. You know, I feel like Golden just described Metal Gear Survive perfectly. <laughs> Only replace ah. snake with like that. Don't me. Oh, great. Now we pull to another call. But... Damn it! Oh, I was so close! I was so close to taking care of this asshole. Like, you face Frankenstein, and there's that frickin' hunchback who jumps all over the place, and he throws these random projectiles. Meanwhile, I'm getting you know my ass kicked by this fucking snake. You know what it is? You're facing Frankenstein's monster and Quasimoto at the same time. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have to start using this. <sighs> you know, I said that I wasn't expecting to go very far, but I went pretty far in the game so far. So far? Who far? God damn it! Everything you just said makes me unhappy. Okay, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna say more of it. Far this, far that, far my ass. <laughs> hey, don't stop pretending your problem is with me. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Fuck! You got this? That would never mind. Yeah, pretty much. What? What? I did not touch that projectile. That's complete bullshit. What the hell? God damn. Oh, I keep forgetting that there's a... There's a fucking candle there that has the worst weapon in the fucking game. I mean, I might as well put to use, because there's no other fucking weapon that is, like, in this fucking hallway. So how does the dagger actually work in this game? Uh, in order to use any of the, uh, <laughs> um, any of the items, you hold up and then you press your attack button. Okay. And basically the knife, it's just straightforward. That's all it does. Um. Whereas, uh, the boomerang, it swings back and forth with the pocket watch, you freeze time. The axe, it goes into an arcing motion. Oh, um, damn it! So what you're saying is there are a ton of more useful tools of the knife. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Damn it! If it wasn't for that fucking projectile, I would have evaded and I probably would have defeated Frankenstein. I think this is the ending point where this is as far as I can go in the game. <laughs> hey, this is what I get for laughing too hard. I come up a storm. You'll be fine. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> I cough all the all the time, and I've just accepted it as a natural thing. Ah, son of a bitch! Stop being a goddamn cheapskate and stick your head out. You're not going to last long anyway, so stop making things difficult for me. Snake. Snake. Snake! Uh, 
Son of a... Son of a fucking bastard. God damn. <laughs> well... Well, so I get that every boss has to have, like, at least one, like, add to help him out in a fight, but why does Frankenstein have a hunchback on his head? I don't know. <laughs> it just is what it is. Like, uh, the, the most that I can say about the this game <laughs> is that it hasn't really aged too well. Like, there's an ideal strategy that is set up in this game, and I jumped myself into the fucking pond. I just, I wasn't paying attention, no. The first game, it was intended to be difficult, so that way you can stop and, like, analyze the, the environment you're in, you know, instead of just going straight forward, like, in a Mario game or any, the, any other platformer. This was so that way this game could help stand out in the market. Uh, I, I argue that they made it difficult, so you wouldn't finish it on the first try or 500 try, tries, and so when you're renting it and have to take it back, you rent it all over again just so you can beat the damn game. Yeah, no, that's that's the other thing. They want to make sure that they get their money's worth, so that way they're, um, if you, like, blast through a game without much of a challenge, the game is not going to sell very well. So that's the other thing. That's that's why they call it Nintendo Hard. Not to mention the limitation on um, the, the, the specs at the time. It was, they had to work with what they got, so they could make very few uh, stages. And by make, when making these stages... Uh, they had to make sure that they were challenging enough to where you would have to take a lot of time into getting it through. Huh. Yeah. Which would make a lot of sense, you know, given the circumstances back in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, things somehow... didn't have to be that too big of an issue in the 90s with the Super NES because the technology started to, um, it started to become much more advanced to where challenge was a little more efficient instead of just like, you know, up to the levels of brutality. Hmm. Some games are just like hard and just like poorly designed, aka games that were published under um, uh, LJN, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that. Not just AVGN, but a certain game that Bliss wanted me to play. <coughs> which game? An LJN game. <coughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're still fucking proud of that. I am. Damn I'm it! You play it again. <laughs> and also, sorry, chat, that I've not been reading your questions. I will try to do so now. I've, I'm just kind of being pulled between, like, you three got directions. Bits. The stream, <laughs> the stream, Skype, chat, Twitch. Ah, come on. You're only making things difficult. Oh yeah, I just remembered. There's the freaking pork chop over here. Ah oh, shit, he responded. Fucking wonderful. <coughs> ah, this is gonna get annoying. Okay, good. Uh, what the hell? What? Seriously? Wait, did I already get the freaking pork chop? Ah, whatever. I think you did. If you're talking about that one on the stairs, yeah. Ah. At Golden Fox, would you try to play those Tiger Electronic games? Um, how exactly am I going to try to broadcast that if it's like a separate handheld that is, you know, a piece of technology that is so minimal and uh, like primitive <laughs> that, damn it! That, damn it, you just can't do it. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it! Instant vibes of robot chicken. I mean, for me, it was just reminding me of Vegeta from DBZ Abridged. <laughs> I'm back, damn it, bitches! Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I am the hype! That, that's still hey. amazing when you made your I'm appearance. Back, <laughs> I'm back, <Yeah>. bitches! <laughs> Actually, since we're on the subject of DBZ Abridged and Master Code isn't here, I have a suitable replacement. Damn it! Ugh. Someone was suggesting to film yourself playing it, but eh. I. Nick, you've been drafted. That would have been hilariously Wait, stupid. Whoa, Jesus! Holy shit! Hi. Oh no! Ah! Oh. <laughs> you can do it. Who just entered the call? Nick. Apparently, I was dragged in. So. Hi. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> Sorry, I'm just. I decided we can use Bear Master Code. Oh, okay. 
it would. Okay, so we have Snickerman, one of um one of Logic's friends. Hello. I'm... Hello. We're a different breed of insane, so brace yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna tell you this much. Uh, I'm not gonna last very long playing this game because my insanity is just like skyrocketing. So after this, um, we're gonna play a magical, magical parody game called Oregon Trail um, Director's Cut. Oh my god, I have that game! Join the I club. I love it. Yeah, this will be the next game after this is finished. <laughs> wow. Oh, like this is gonna be great. Sounds like. <laughs> Phenomenal decision dragging Snick into the pool. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, please stop doing that because I can't tell who it is when you do that. I'm sorry. It's fine. Oh, I was so close. All right, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>